Jet and Bakla Alivile and Halivile the baby from the head to the toe. As you heard the cousin mentioned that Tashina's mom had this intuition. It's like a sixth sense feeling. Animals are born with instinct and that keeps them safe. She had this instinctive awareness. She had this hunch, this gut feeling about something. Shina was about to leave the home. She called her back and she took olive oil. A lot of Jamaica would have olive oil in their homes, right? Because that's something that is handed down to us. From ancient days, they've been using olive oil to anoint. So our four parents, they use it to anoint, right? And you use olive oil for so many different things, but the main thing is to anoint. So you pray with someone, you use olive oil, you pray over the olive oil, you use it to, to rub the person's head. This is something that happened in a lot of Jamaican household. So she anointed the child from head to toe with olive oil, right? And you can tell that um, her mom had there's some type of intuition here. Something triggered her to do that. So they say when you pray over a bottle of olive oil, you know, it is set apart. It becomes holy oil, anointing oil right and that's what our four parents like they handed that down to us right and she anointed the child from head to toe 
So when she went outside with this child, this child had olive oil all over her. So you can just imagine. Whoever was in that vehicle, maybe they ask, you know, why is she so shiny? Uh, what did you put on her or something like that? So she knew that this child was being protected. You can see that she was trying to protect her grandchild. A lot of people in Jamaica will have olive oil in their home, right? And she used that to slather all over the baby from the head to the toe. This child left this earth anointed. She came just for 10 months, but she made an impact on us, right? She was totally anointed. Man can touch her, can touch the body, but they can't touch the soul. Even if she didn't pray over her, she anointed her. We're glad that we are hearing more. I read the missing report because I like to check things. So when I go back and I check the missing report that the JCF had sent out, they said that Tashina was last seen wearing a tube top and a green sweatpants and a pair of Crocs. Little Soraya was only in a pink onesie. So if you have an appointment to say, go to the doctor, normally chances are you're not going to wear a tube top. If you have an appointment, like a, a business type appointment, like going for a DNA or going for lunch or going to an office or something like that, right? You're going to dress accordingly. So she didn't have any plans. You can see that she didn't have any plans to leave home, right? I believe that was a Saturday and she was dressed very casually because, you know, hot and you try to dress according to the weather put the child in a pink one she's not dressing her up you know she dolls her up to go out so you can see that she kind of you know put her in something casual like a pink onesie right so you let me know how do you think she got into the vehicle cousin said that Tashina is not streetwise go back and check my first video you saw where Tashina was born she was born in the rural area of saint andrew right so when someone say you're not street wise, people who are born in the rural areas, um, you know, they're not accustomed to certain things, right? Street wise, meaning you know what goes on in the street. You're a quick thinker and you know when you're being given a six for a nine quickly, right? You're able to discern that um, in seconds. So that's what it means when you say street smarts, you know how to handle yourself in the streets navigate when someone says street smart it's not just um being able to find your way around or navigate on familiar areas it's basically knowing how to spot a scam knowing how to slip out of tricky situations just in time you are quick-witted you know how to think on your feet taking seconds to making certain decisions get yourself out of danger that's what street smart is.